last year, 2022, first half of the year, felt like it was peaking. And then all of a sudden, the interest rates shot up. They went from you know less than 3% on a 30-year jumbo to 7% really quick. And er, the brakes were hit on. I remember uh, having a, a listing north of Montana come on the market in June. And it was the first thing that came out north of Montana right after the interest interest rates went up and we had a pause. I mean, people were were taking notice and not writing offers. And two weeks before, literally, it would have been in multiple offers. So that second half of the year, I felt like we were definitely in a slowdown. Uh, I think technically we were in a recession. It was more than two quarters of uh, slow growth or negative growth. Uh, But something interesting happened over the holidays time, mid-December, late December. And in the last, you know, 45 days, the first month and a half this year, Things seem to just snap back. Uh, prices, activity, multiples. Uh, what is your take on what is going on today here in early 23? And what, what is happening? Well, I, I, I think, again, I think because, as I said earlier, we're in the healthiest position as an industry that I've ever seen. And uh, interest rates, I think that uh, initially the shock of interest rates has started to wear off on people. They're getting more used to that five or six percent. I will tell you that seven percent appears to be a threshold, and right now we're marching back to seven percent. So um, that's going to put some brakes on the on the environment. As to, as to the environment right now, I think it's just because there's a tremendous amount of pent up demand. There's a lot of buyers out there that have been waiting for an opportunity. Prices have come down from their peak for sure. You know, I tell my agents they're declining about a point a month right now. That's a generalization, but that's probably true. The multiple offers that are selling, when I quiz the agents, they say, you know, they're pricing their houses three to five percent below the last comp. So uh, if if they're priced that way, they're selling in multiples. If they're not priced that way, they're sitting. So we're starting to see more sitting inventory come uh, on the on the market, start to build in certain areas, um, and. You know, there's other other changes too. There's been the new tax code, the new tax from uh, ULA. City of LA that's uh, bringing on a lot more inventory right now. All of a sudden, over five million, we're seeing more of that, and I think that's going to put uh, pressure on prices. But I think uh, what you're seeing now is pent up demand, a window of opportunity that buyers are seeing. Sellers are a little bit more amenable to negotiating and allowing repairs or negotiating repairs. And et cetera. And I think that it's a window right now for buyers. 